Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the Gizwiz is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest writer Dick T. Bartolo. This is episode 1433, recorded September 10th, 2013. Free medical advice. The Gizwiz is brought to you by Lynda.com. Learn what you want when you want it with access to over 2,000 high-quality online courses and training videos, all for one low monthly price. Try it free for seven days. Visit Lynda.com slash Gizwiz. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash gizwiz. And by audible.com to download the free audiobook of your choice. Visit audible.com slash gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick. Ladies and gentlemen, get your jazz hands out and ready because it's showtime. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and Leo Laporte. Because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. A nerd pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Rowing, rowing LEDs. Get ready for the gizwiz now. No! Oh! Chicken time. Oh. Chicken time. Oh. Chicken time. Oh. Oh. That chicken. Blew up the camera. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's more a turkey, actually. Wow. Imagine if we didn't have the image stabilization I know. Up. Just think, huh? That would have been a rocky ride. Who put a cock back there? That's uh Or is that a hen? No, that's a, that's a rooster. Yeah. Yep. 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 Hello, well, Mr. Dickie D. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And it's live, too. You, you, know, you know you're in Petaluma when the yeah, thrill dude. cam ends up the rooster cam. Yeah. So um, Myra, Myra Joyce is not there. She's in Dublin. Myra is in Dublin, and oh. we don't see uh, Kevin Dublin or Myra in the chat room. So, Oh, did she go to visit Kevin in Dublin? What's going on? They're supposed to meet mm. up. So, yeah. Maybe, you know, maybe it's happening. It's funny because I always thought Myra might be Jewish, but of course Joyce is an Irish name. She's probably related to James Joyce. She's going back there to visit her roots. Uh, I think so, or maybe dye them. She's doing something. <laughs> who, who knows? <laughs> well, are you all alone in the uh, in the Disneyland studios? All alone in the in the Disneyland oh. cottage. Nobody, I know. nobody to eat your your, your little finger food. Oh well, no! You actually, think, do you think Dennis brings anything in here when Myra's not here? You're kidding. There's not. He didn't bring you an hors d'oeuvre. No. Without no, Myra, said, nothing, huh? No. I, I said, Dennis, will there be food and drink? He said, what? Why, is someone coming? <laughs> <laughs> He's a good host. Yes, ex yes, exactly. Not such, exactly. <laughs> such a great spouse, but a good host. A good host. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, you know, get him. To, come on, Dennis, bring something down. Yeah, he's, uh, he's upstairs watching. He will now come in. Now he'll give you poo-poos. Exactly. What does he typically, what does he typically bring down there? Cheese and crackers? Uh, let's see, My Myra likes uh, peanut butter and jelly. No. Yeah, she does. No. Yeah, or he'll bring down a cheese selection with crackers. That's better. Uh, sometimes some warm, uh, warm nuts and <laughs> a zero. Yep, or we'll just keep going. And then pretzels and chips. You know, wow. Yeah, snack, snacky things. Oh, no wonder Myra's there every single Wednesday or yeah, Tuesday. and Saturday. And Saturday. Yeah. And, and Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> she Wednesday, loves she you. Wednesday, she finally leaves. She's like, <laughs> oh. I fell asleep at the desk. Like I'm, uh, I'll be back on uh, Saturday. So this is the uh, the gadget show uh, where we find fun and weird stuff. And apparently, uh, we've run out of uh, uh, Jeffrey Needles gadgets for me. So this is going to be a Jason Howell. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not oh. sure if we run out. We have more needles picks back there, but uh, <laughs> I decided to see how this what goes today. So. All right, we'll let Jason pick one uh, <laughs> this week. But as always, as is traditional, we let. Dick kick things off with his. Yeah, we, we do. So, Leo, I am doing an update on a gadget only because 
last week you said you were packing and you were taking the Bose SoundLink with you. I am. The SoundLink 2, the newest one. Yeah, yeah. The newest one. Okay. So it's now three months ago when I went to the product introduction of the SoundLink Mini. And, and little did you know this was Amar Bose's last uh, hurrah because he passed it, away not exactly. so long ago. Exactly. Yeah. But about six weeks after that, uh, they emailed me and said, you know, you want to, we'll send you one so you can hear what the music of your own sounds like. Mm. You know, we picked, obviously picked the music for the demo. And so, Oh, you got the mini. I have the mini. Oh, look how and little it is. It's so cute. Wow. Wow. That's a big, rich sound for such a... Isn't that unbelievable? Baby, it's Sounds pretty good. This is what Bose has always has traditionally done quite well, which is the rich, yes. deep bass. Yes, um, you know, and, and it was very funny because I spoke to Bob, who's the CEO, and I, at the time, Dr. Bose was still alive. He did, obviously was not at the event. And I was talking about the sound link and how did they come up with this? And, you know... The, after this came out, everybody started the jam boxes and going down and down mm -hmm. and down. And he said, Dr. Bose called in all his engineers. I believe there were a hundred engineers worked on this. And he said, listen, I want the same sound that we have in the sound link. And I want it in a box little less than half the size, and I want it to sound as good. See, now I'm depressed because I bought the the big sound, like, and it's heavy. It's a few pounds because it's. I feel like you know it's got big magnets in it. Yeah, or this is a uh, pound and a half. Oh, see, one hundred ninety nine dollars. Mm. Oh well, it's pretty expensive. Well, isn't the sound link? It's three hundred list. Three yeah, hundred yeah. list. Yeah, I think I got it for two fifty on Amazon. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, so this is one ninety nine. Uh, anyway, uh, is it the same price on one ninety nine on Amazon? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the uh, mini. Both of these are Bluetooth speakers. By the way, they neither of them have Bluetooth microphone. They're both they're for listening, not talking. That is correct. That you know, Jambox, for instance, has a microphone. You could use it as a speakerphone. I didn't think I'd be doing that in Italy. <laughs> no, probably not. I hope I hope I'm not doing that in Italy. Uh, you know wow. what? Wow. Uh, have you heard the sound link too, the big one? Uh, I, I heard it. I, I don't have it, but I heard it when that how, was in. How does this compare? Be honest. I'm depressed. You, you know, it, it's hard to remember because I only heard the sound link at the press preview of that, right. which was like two years ago. I think they sound pretty close. <laughs> well, only because they had this, they started over with coming out with speakers half the. Half the size. This is the one I got. It has white leather. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Which is kind of kooky. And so it was a little more expensive for the uh, white leather. The cover flips over uh, when you're done with it. You oh, just, that's right. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, and also when you close the cover, it shuts it off. When you open the cover, right. it turns it on, as I recall. Yeah, and now this has, is as, as is traditional... With Bose speakers, it's direct reflecting. So this has a speaker in front, but also a speaker in back that, you you know, if you position it n near a wall, it will bounce the bass off the wall, and it gives you even better bass response. You're right, and this does too. See, I'm thinking I should have bought the Mini. Yeah. You know what? Th this has a uh, speaker off control up here. Are, are they sure that they don't take phone calls? I, I didn't pair it with... Well, I know the I know the big one does not. This maybe they okay. Maybe they've added that. Uh, okay. Yeah, they don't mention that it. Uh, no, they don't. Yeah. No, they don't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it runs seven to eight hours, depending on volume. Now on this one has to sit in a charging cradle. You know, so does this one. Oh, I mean, are you talking the about the big one? Does not. It plugs in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, this comes with a little charging cradle and uh, mm -hmm. charge it. Charges pretty quickly, and you get seven to eight hours. Off the bass. It's hard to tell, of course, over the internet, but that's, no, that's absolutely. that sounds like a lot of bass. It's, it that was, sounded it, pretty it, rich. You know Leo, I, I had a uh, our anniversary party about two weeks ago, and I would bring three people. I, I I was like doing a Bose demo. Bring three people at a time in. Face oh oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Leo, thank you for ordering for me. Oh, 
and look, Hang you got a little uh, <laughs> an umbrella drink. <laughs> that looks lovely. Yeah, thank, thank you, Dennis. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. That is very sweet. Leo is thanking you. That is okay. cute. Is that a fresca okay. you're having in there? Uh, no. What am I drinking, Dennis? Uh, oh, a pina colada. If you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, then you're going to like the Gizwiz, even though he's a pain. Yes, he's oh, all... I was hoping he's insane, <laughs> but it's <better. laughs> Even though oh. he's insane, it, does, you, it has the same ring to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. <laughs> Just don't point there when you say that. <laughs> don't watch the video version, please. <laughs> my eyes, my eyes. So, um, where were we? Oh, the Bose saying like the Mini. That's really the nice. Mini. I like right, that. Okay. Yeah. I wish I'd known about. Did you tell me about this? I wish I'd known about this before uh, I bought the big yeah, one. Yeah, I did. Um, but that's okay. You you see tons of gadgets. What I wanted yeah. this for, you know, we're on the boat for two weeks. So what I thought would be nice for audiobooks, because both of us listen to a lot of audiobooks. Right. Uh, it does. It sounds great. In fact, I, I listen now at breakfast uh, to my uh, the, the audiobooks fire from my phone onto the sound link, and I love it. Uh, but I also wanted it because I thought it'd be fun to have, you know... Uh, romantic music, classical music, just to have a little bit of control over the musical situation. A lot of times cruise ships have some sort of sound, but it's not very good usually. So I thought this would be nice to have uh, along with us, you know? Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Is it but, too late to run back and change yeah. your... Yeah, you know, eh, eh. The nice, the uh, whole yeah, point yeah, of... Yeah. The whole point of going on a cruise is you only unpack once, right? You get yeah. on the boat, and instead of you going from town to town, the towns come to you. You just sit there on the boat. I don't know how they do it, but like every night, you wake up, every morning you wake up, and there's a new town out the window. I don't understand how they wow, do that. Wow, that's expensive. I think it's done with, <laughs> the ship is on wheels. What else? Maybe it's on wheels. That's probably what it is. But it's pretty cool though because you don't unpack or anything. You, you just, you know, you're, you're, everything you just goes with you, which is great. No, it's perfect. And, perfect. and you never know what's going to be outside your... Uh... Sometimes, though, if it's really crowded and they get to a port and they park next to another cruise ship, sometimes there's another guy in his boxer shorts out my window, which I... <laughs> that's not as much fun. Oh, hi, you're on a cruise too, are you? Yeah. You got yeah. the Bose Soundlink Mini? No, I got the big one. Yeah. Oh, you jerk. What you is that? Way? <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you listening to the Gizwiz? Pay attention to that kid with the big mustache. <laughs> uh, let, okay, good. So this okay, so these these are three things that for you to consider for your vacation. All right. Okay. Okay. okay so, so the SoundLink okay. Mini Bluetooth speaker is one. Now, okay, does that now, do like the wooden ones you did last week, where I could buy two and then have left and right channel? No. No. All right. No. Okay. okay. So now you're going to be going around and sightseeing, and you're going to want to have a place. To sit and relax. I am. But the problem okay, is, I don't think they have chairs in Greece. Well, now, this is this is why I picked the next one. Yes. So I, w I won't tell you what it is, but let's just roll let's watch. the video. Okay. This is a perfect chair for you. Okay. Dickie Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Dry, to end the Gizwiz with another one-take theater here on Twit. You know, you go out into the park, you want to look at the birds, you're on a long line at an airport. You wish you had a chair with you all the time. Actually, this guy wishes he had a chair too, but it's cumbersome. <laughs> but it would be less Don't cumbersome if you didn't walk around trying to carry 12 chair chairs. <laughs> but what you need is the amazing pocket chair. Take a seat anywhere, the chair that fits in, in my your pocket? pocket. Yeah. Well, I bought not I one, need two but of those. two pocket chairs because, cheek. let's face it, I have two pockets. <clears throat> and this is pocket oh, chair. It is. You know, and go, by yeah. golly, that just, you could just slip that into. If I had a shirt pocket, it would just slip in there so easily. <laughs> easily. If you hand it with a sewing machine, it comes in this nice carry case. Yeah. So you could. Sew that on. That's cute. Looks good on jeans, tuxedo, <laughs> wedding gown, place to put your pocket chairs. But this is pocket chair. Well, it comes and, with its own pocket. Uh, That's why. Let's see. Yeah. Um, How does it work? Warnings here. Uh, maximum weight, 250 pounds. Failure to comply with this weight limit could result in death, okay, oh, or serious injury. <laughs> uh, avoid tipping, avoid injury to, to fingers. 
Failure to position the chair could result in injury or damage. Okay, it's a fun uh, chair. So we A, A, pull chair, open, B, oh, open bottom, and then connect tabs, okay? Connect this, this thing bend, God, does that, oh, okay, it bends up. So this goes there, okay, and then, then, that, what is that, then, <laughs> whoa, then connect? No. Connect? Connect? You're going to hurt oh, yourself. This whoa. could result in death. Connect this is, tab. This was the most un... Oh, oh God. God. Well, it's, it's, if you get it working, okay. it's going to be okay. secure. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Oh. That's true. Boy, if you cut your finger in that, yeah. I can No kidding. It looks like if your wrist slipped. And I want to have a dick lift yeah. weight. Okay. He's a strong, strong I'm guy. I'm putting it this, over. I am not faking this. <sighs> All right, I'll you do it against crazy. my chest. So that, <laughs> that looks, I can oh, you push got the that pocket part gym. as it That's comes over. And you That's really it. have to watch It's a chair and a gym. Don't, you're going to stab. You know what? Don't do that. You're going to stab on yourself. I know. Dick, Dick, stop. And you're going to stab. Oh, no. Oh. God, this is a terrible oh. idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to own the human. And how on earth do you make it to the second tab? That's for really strong people. You know what? I'm not kidding. <laughs> All, right. All right. And look how big it now is. Now I have a chair. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So this is... I can see where the death comes in. Chair. If you weigh 250 okay, pounds, so, it'll shoot you in the butt. Uh, if you don't mind <clears throat> not having a back. Yeah. You don't mind not right. having arms. You don't mind your legs up around your belt buckle. <laughs> Uh, you don't mind having a tiny a sitting chair. area, 250 pounds. <laughs> you know, possibly oh you'd have more area there you if go. you sit like a like horse. That. Like yeah. a horse. Whoa, whoa, it does whoa, not whoa, look whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, death! No. Death could result. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought that would be. More. I thought that would be more comfortable. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, I tell you what. I bought it's good the two. You got two. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to do it. No. But maybe the way to do One it is cheek. to use the two of them together. Exactly. <laughs> but I haven't got the strength. Now how do you get it apart? To fold up the other one. Oh, I didn't even bother. Uh, anyway, they're I about Dennis ten bucks doing. each. <laughs> um, I think on Amazon, I think there was a deal to get the two of them for fifteen bucks. But then there's five dollars shipping, so uh, you're still in for ten bucks each. Uh, <laughs> you sound like you're winded. <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's it. Pocket chair. The amazing pocket chair. Dick Di Bartolo, Mads Mattis Dreider, and the Giz Whiz with another one take <laughs> theater here on Twit. Oh, there's a table in here too. <laughs> how much anyway, how much was that pocket chair? The pocket chair was wow. um, they were ten bucks each. Well, you got what you yeah, paid for. Yeah. You know, if you have if you have an Amazon Prime, it's eight eighty. They're down a little bit now. Eight eighty eight and, and free with shipping. Amazon Prime. But even you know, I don't. Th I think they should pay you. You, I, I was so nervous that you were going to stab yourself in the <laughs> gut. You know what? Oh, look a at her. She, I looks, know. she looks so comfy. I, yeah, I know. I know. And <laughs> none of these people yeah, look can, comfortable. <laughs> You would be a comfortable little. for maybe a minute and a half if you were like Jeff Needles, you know? yeah. But uh, it's it's like six inches wide, so your butt has to fit on that. They make fold-up chairs that are good camp chairs. There's all kinds of those. You see them uh, all over the place. All right. Well, I had these. I was going to FedEx these out for the trip. No but thanks. I guess I, okay. Okay. You know, uh, they don't. They have like walking sticks that turn into. They do chairs. Those look like maybe With more a little, practical. Uh, makes a little tripod. Seat. Yeah. And, and and also there up off the ground. You know, if you have to sit on a chair that's only a foot high. Getting sitting down and standing up on it's pretty difficult. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unless you're really young. But anyway, that's pocket chair. Well, so much for pocket chair. So much for pocket chair. Uh, now our next thing is, 
I don't know. I think you mentioned something. Did you mention a cell phone pocket for your credit cards? Yes, I did. The uh, Card Ninja. Oh, okay. This is a different one. And this is, I, I also, I, I just like the way it sounds. This is Mogo to go. Mogo to go. Mogo to or go. Or Mogotaga. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Mogotaga. So. Yeah, so this, it's a little guy. Same idea, same, same idea. idea. Okay, yeah. three, three yeah. M's up yeah. on the yeah. back. It can hold a uh, hotel uh, key and a couple of credit cards. You could stick a $5 bill in there or something. It comes, this is uh, the back of it on my phone here. I think and it's what a I'm really hoping, good idea. I really yeah, like what these. What I'm doing is... I'm keeping some business cards in mind, hoping that if I ever lose my phone, they'll go, hey, this guy works for Mad Magazine. Let's send his phone back. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. And it's not bad. They come in black and white, and they're four ninety five, and that includes shipping. So, four ninety five is a good is is actually the least expensive uh, I've seen of those. The Card Ninja straight, is more expensive. Oh, it is? Okay. Strangely, yeah. they, they say uh, good for the iPhone 5 and the Samsung Galaxy 4, but then in tiny print it says will fit any flat-back cell phone right. that, you know, it's very small. It's two and a quarter inches by 3.60 inches. That's and the least expensive one I've seen. You know, I, I bought a uh, Sinji Moro, Sinji Pouch Adhesive Accessory Pocket. Uh, and those were $13. The the, the, the uh, Card Ninjas are $20. And wow. looking on the Amazon, they're, the cheapest one I could see on the Amazon, it's actually a good name for it, is the iRu, because it's like a kangaroo, right? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. But you know what? But that's $10. That... Bucks. So this is the, these are very inexpensive. Yeah. Also, what I noticed, what I like about the Mogo 2 Go is that it fits so that it doesn't cover the flash or the speaker on the back of the S4. Right. There's right. not a lot of flat area there where you're not covering something right so I think that would be the one thing to be aware of yes yeah yeah is where you put that's it. cool i like that yeah. and they're at mogo2go.com very cool uh, and now now the excitement builds well i've been told there's a gadget for me somewhere oh you don't you don't no, know we should yourself. do an ad should i do the ad yeah well we have oh, we two. Got two ads. yeah we have two. Oh my god <laughs> Oh Somehow my. this show's making money. <laughs> wow. don't, no, don't say that. Oh, I mean, I don't think it's making money, but we do have ads. <laughs> hey, let me tell you about Lynda.com. This is great. This is our first uh, visit with Lynda.com. I've known Linda. You know Linda Wyman? Have you ever met her, Dick? I just love no, I haven't. her. Uh, Linda Wyman uh, wrote a lot of books on web design, development, and so forth. We used to have her on the screensavers regularly. And she took her abilities and knowledge and started doing online training. Now, Linda.com is, the, I think, the biggest online training site anywhere in just about every area you can imagine. I mean, you can get, in fact, go to Linda.com. Oh, look! Welcome, fans. Linda.com slash... Gizwiz will take you Whoa. to that page. Yeah, isn't that great? And uh, it, But you can also go to the front page and browse the subject matter because there are literally, I think, 2,000 courses. And it, for instance, I'm taking a Lightroom course right now. The new Lightroom 5 came out. Let me just show you what it's like here because yeah. um, many of my favorite photographers, uh, uh, trainers, and experts and gurus teach at lynda.com, which is awfully nice. Um, uh, you can see these are all Lightroom 5, sharing photos online, creating time-lapse video, shooting and processing panoramas. The nice thing about Linda.com, you don't have to say, oh, I'd like this one. These are all available to you, every one of them. You just pay a monthly fee, and a very low fee too, I might add, and any video on Linda.com is available. There's actually two different subscription packages. There's the base plan, and then for a little bit more, you can get the pro plan, which will give you access to... Uh, materials, you know, uh, course uh, materials like uh, photos you can start off with and stuff. I think it's 25 bucks a month. Everything on here for thirty-seven fifty a month, the premium plan includes exercise files. So let's see, Lightroom Essentials, managing images with a library mod module. Let's just pick one and, and uh, take a look at it. Now look how they do this, which is great. Um, the, it, it is professionally done. Uh, you can pick any area, jump right to it. They also have complete transcriptions. So you can even search the transcripts and say, I'm looking for a particular thing. I want to know how to delete photos. Delete, rejected, 
photos, let's say, on Lightroom. And it'll go right, it'll jump right into this transcript and then jump right to the video. And you can see right where it is. Here it is, you see? So this is couldn't be better. This is a wonderful way to get exactly what you need. They have training in almost every area, including soft skills like uh, 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 business management skills, resume creation, negotiation. I gotta take the negotiation course. Uh, I just, I'm a real fan, lynda.com. So here's what we've done. We've arranged a seven day trial for you for free. If you go to lynda.com slash gizwiz, lynda.com, L-Y-N-D-A.com slash gizwiz, you could just sign up right there for a free seven day trial. They're gonna show you what the cold cost is. By the way, I've, I've had a Lynda account since day one. I've been a member. I go there all the time. When we have new editors come in, we often give them training at lynda.com so they can get up to speed on final cut or whatever it is that I, I want them to know about. Uh, it is uh, just a great resource for a business, for a home user. It, it just makes you better at your job. It makes you, it's better for having fun too. Get your office to pay for it. Learn Excel, you know, pivot tables in Excel, you'll be more valuable. And then when you go home, you can take photo photography courses or that kind of thing. Courses for all levels, all kinds of skills. You set the pace, you learn what you want. I know a lot of times people go to YouTube and try to learn this stuff. Believe me, it's better to have someone who really knows what they're doing create great professional videos for you. Lynda.com. I'm so glad. I, I'm a big fan of Linda Wyman and I'm really glad to have them on board. All right, so you know. It sounds like you already know what this is. No, I just know that Jace is, it's a Jason pick. And I don't know. He and, didn't want to tell me either. Well, and in a strange uh, confluence of events, it actually fits the theme in a, in a strange way. Because, Dick, you featured a couple of things that, ha that have pockets, right? <laughs> yes, uh, or, yes. Or fit into pockets. This is a pocket for your tablet. Okay, so this, oh. is, this is called the Sidewinder. It's called the Zachu Sidewinder. Z-A-T-C-H-U dot com. The idea is if you've got something like that pocket chair that won't fit in your pocket... And a, a really good example would be, you know, a 7-inch tablet. This is a Lenovo, but I love my Nexus 7. Uh, you, you can't fit that in your pocket. But if you had the Zatu, well, <laughs> be another matter entirely. <laughs> okay. This Side, is to wear your tablet? Thread through belt for extra. Yes, you're basically going to wear it as like a, it's like oh, a holster. Oh, oh. I won't. You, you could thread it through the belt if right. you wanted to, but I, I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm just gonna pretend. Pretend. Isn't this isn't this going to interfere with your sauna pants? Well, I'll explain why uh, I don't. And then, <laughs> and then you put this. You know, this I don't think they expect a guy with massive thighs <laughs> like me. Um, uh, I mean, maybe if I lowered, maybe if this were a little lower slung. <laughs> they have in the instructions it says how to pee in this, so that's good. Yeah, for men and for women. Yeah, separate instructions for. Guys. for it says, hey, if you're a guy, you know, just keep the sidewinder in place. If it gets in your way, then you're wearing it too high. Too high? Okay. I'm maybe not the right guy to demonstrate <laughs> this. There's plenty Jason, of... What is, this, what is this called, Jason? It's called the Zachu uh, Sidewinder. Zachu. And okay. Z-A-T-C-H-U. It's bags.zachu.com. Okay, good. Okay. This fits more around my lower thigh than my upper thigh. Okay. Because I have massive man thighs. Look at that. All right. Now I got this. So let's see how it looks just if you're just standing around. Nice. Hey. Nice. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, mm -hmm. I come here a lot. Yeah. Hey, Is that uh, a chair in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Oh, that's my Zachu. So hey, there it is. Hey, look, you know what? It's the tablet. Your phone could go in there. Whoa. And if you have one of them pouches, your wallet's in there too. Okay, yeah. now let's come here, Liz. Let's do a little role playing. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm 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 at a I'm at a party. I'm a cool guy. I want to meet a hot chick. Hey, there's there's a hot chick. Hey, how you doing? Is that a <laughs> Yeah. Table yeah, I know. You're probably there? pretty interested in the fact that I have a seven inch in here. <laughs> it's I pretty thought, cool, I huh? Thought it was really you know what's nice. great about this? If I have to pee, I don't have to take it off. Now, if you're a girl... <laughs> <laughs> Liz no, Leo, 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 don't do the demo. Don't do the it demo. It says remove any breakables from the Sidewinder pocket <gasps> and let the Sidewinder drop with the trousers. It comes right back up in place <laughs> when you're done. 
<laughs> if you've looped it through the belt loop. Right. Probably, I think it's yeah. a good idea. That's why. And look how good it looks from the back. Um, yeah. You know, this is great, Leah, so you don't have to take any luggage on your three-week vacation. <laughs> it looks like it, there's something wrong with me, doesn't it? Usually. Usually. <laughs> More than usual? Oh, because this is the gene you think it's it would match? It's the denim. Here's the thing. I, it looks like it's somehow a brace or harness for my bad leg. It looks... <laughs> <laughs> don't they... Isn't there a website where uh, it's women wearing man repeller uh, outfits? I think this is a woman repeller outfit. Um, I'm just... Uh, yeah, manrepeller.com. <laughs> It's, it's stuff women probably shouldn't wear but want to. Uh, why is there why is there no why is there no womenrepeller.com? I got one right here. That's just most <laughs> most guys on the internet. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> these are these are this is a serious site by the way. They, they, this is all great stuff. They think who cares if men don't like it when I wear that. I like it. I don't wear clothes for men. I wear them for me. And I could say this. <laughs> I could say the same thing for this case. The Zatu bag. Hey, lady, I don't dress for you. I dress for me. I'm a Zatu man. Zatu! Zatu! <laughs> they also have the shanty, which is... What's that? Here, wait, the site's a little slow to load, but it's basically a convertible uh, bag. You'll see what I mean in a second here. Well, the I... good news is these aren't expensive. The, uh, yeah. the Sidewinders uh, with Shanty is only 30 bucks. So, oh, see, and they come in many colors. Oh, uh, wait, wait a minute. What is, what is that? that? It's like a backpack slash... Yeah, it turns into a backpack yeah. or it's just you know, a regular bag. But, yeah. All right. All right. So there you go. How much is that? How much Fashion. is that? This, this, this fifty dollars. Well, it's handmade. Yeah, in I was the gonna US say it's handmade. Yeah, yeah. Right. I hate to be dismissive of this. Uh, Dave's put a lot of energy into it. They're made and uh, manufactured in the U.S. and and, and so uh, you know that's why they cost a little bit more. But you can get it in black, black, or dark blue. It looks like. Dr. Mom was pointing out in the chat room this was like the holster, the uh the e holster that or oh, the, yeah, that she, that she had, showed yeah. off months ago yeah. on the show. Hey, well, you know what? At least it's it does what it it's advertised. I think to. if you had it holds a seven inch. If you tablet. had the money and a tailor, you could have the tailor sew big pockets into your pants. That'd probably be a better idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, have a pocket chair on one side and your tablet on the other yeah. for and balance. Then, and then wear a puffy shirt with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's. Um, I, I'd hate to. I hate to rain on anybody's parade or anything. Um, but it's just not. Not for me. Not for me. You want Liz, really? Liz. Come here, Liz. Let's put this on you. Is that you? Because I still have a Kindle Fire. <laughs> this is for your Kindle Fire. Now, remember, low low, and low on the hips there because it's got to go around your thighs. And they really don't give you a lot of thigh, thigh extension room. This is a unisex. There you go. See if that'll... I have thunder thighs. No, I do too. That's the thing. You have to... It's really not meant to go by the upper thigh. It's really going down more by the knee, I think. So, well, yeah, we're, we're at lower slung. So it's more like a holster. There you go. There you go. And then you put your Kindle in there. Now, how do you like? See, when you're wearing yeah, jeans, see, it doesn't now, look... Yeah, now it looks better. Yeah. For some bizarre reason. I don't know why it looks better on her than you. No, I can't figure it out. It doesn't look better. <laughs> I'm telling you, in person. Hey, hey. <laughs> it looks like there's something wrong with your leg. <laughs> <laughs> turn, turn around here. here. It, it looks like there's something wrong with your leg. Go ahead. It's yours. I give you the Zatu bag. <laughs> Not my. F you can have the oh. tablet too. It's not my tablet. I I'll keep my phone. <laughs> oh, that's very. Funny. There you go. All right. Yeah, it just looks there like there you go. Yeah. Good okay, for bartenders. Do we have Jeff's yeah. home phone number? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure we could bring his voice into the it's show. It's not quite as manly as a as a holster yeah. would be. Or the well, or the th the uh, slimming shorts you wore last week. Those were manly. 
They were manly. Those were wow. manly. Hey, yep. before we go to the Gadget Warehouse, audible.com, I'm loading up on audiobooks. You know, there are a couple of things I do before I travel, and one of them absolutely, and in fact, I'll even show you here, is I fire up my Audible app. And I do love the Audible app. It's on iPhone, on Android. It's just fabulous. Um, and I will fill it up, as I have here. I don't. You probably can't see it. I'm listening to Venice, A New History right now, because I'm going to Venice, you know? Oh, so much fun. When you're traveling, when I went to China, I had all these ch books about China, and you're traveling around, you're seeing this stuff, I put fiction. I've, I've got Cryptonomicon. That's 42 hours. That'll probably get me through the plane flight. Silver Linings Playbook. I'm looking forward to listening to that. I love that movie. Uh, I've got The Descendants, another movie that I loved. And uh, Cowie Hart Hemmings' novels, uh, by all accounts, great. I got a little nonfiction inside Scientology. That should be great. A little science fiction on here, too. Um, hounded the Iron Druid Chronicles. So this, I know, I'm not going to be... It's a long plane flight. There's delays. There's nothing worse than sitting in an airport. I got audiobooks with me. I love Audible. Let me take you to audible.com and uh, just browse around the 150,000 titles, both new and old, classic, uh, fiction, nonfiction. Oh, here's some more Venice stuff. How Venice Rules the Seas, Caravaggio, A Life... Sa See, they knew that I bought that one, and they suggested some other ones. Here's new fiction. This Everybody's talking about... The Bones of Paris, Laurie King's suspenseful novels with historical detail. This is in the Jazz Age, Paris. Um, science fiction, they've got the best selection. Oh, Billy Crystal's got a new one. Did you know that? I did not. Still fooling them. Where I've been, where I'm going, and where the hell are my keys? Let's listen. <laughs> a little bit of Billy Crystal. He reads his own, of course. There's certain people you just got to hear their own voice. You got to hear what they're, uh, what they're sounding like. Can you hear it? No. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's doing it live. My with Janice, my wife of 42 years, running in and kept yelling, holy Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Sometimes with comics, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, I listen to a lot. I listen to a lot of history. Here's one. Rome's last citizen, the life and legacy of Cato, mortal enemy of Caesar. I love that kind of stuff. Um, if, if you are interested in... In history, in thrillers, in mysteries, if you want to listen to great books, but maybe you don't have the time to read, there's always time in the car. Oh, I love, uh, this is one of my favorite books, Richard Dawson's, is Dawkins, The uh, Selfish Gene is on sale. Love this book, and he's, by the way, a great narrator. So if you are, if you are in the car during a commute, or you, or you go to the gym, there's nothing more boring than walk in that treadmill of the Stairmaster. But if I've got an audio book, I'll do an extra 20 minutes just to find out what happens next in my book. You want to try it? we got a free book for you. Visit audible.com slash gizwiz, and uh, you'll be signing up for the gold account. That's the book a month subscription. It includes, by the way, the daily download of the audio edition of the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal. And then you can pick one of those books. You get a credit a month. Cancel any time in the first 30 days. You'll pay nothing, but that book is always going to be yours to keep. I don't think you're going to cancel. John Hodgman's great trilogy. More information than you require. I, I am just a huge fan. Try it. Audible.com slash Gizwiz. Make sure you go to that page so Dick gets credit. And we thank Audible for their support of the Gizwiz. Now, ladies and gentlemen, while you're listening to your audiobook, you know, sometimes you find yourself kind of losing track of where you're going and all of a sudden you you look up and there it is that great stone edifice with steam pouring out of the top and look way up there there's a little tiny window and there's a head with coming out the window with a guy with a big handlebar droopy mustache he's hey hey come on up here i'm in dick's gadget world They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Room. Yeah! Hee haw! Hello, Dick yes, D. Sir Leo. Put your we're head back in the to... window and show us what's in the warehouse. <laughs> no, we're going to someone else's warehouse. Ooh. It's going to be a viewer video of the week. It is from John Kingston, who says, uh, I've been a fan of the show since the beginning. You, Dick, and Leo, crack me up. 
Since you started asking for videos of old gadgets, I had to send this in. Actually, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Let's watch John Kingston's video. Ooh. Oh, 27 take Hey, Dick. Hey, Leo. This is John from Mission, Texas. I'm a big fan of the show. And today I've got a gadget that would be perfect for Dick's Gadget Warehouse. I'm recording this on my Samsung Galaxy S4, my latest smartphone, and my gadget today is my first smartphone, quite possibly the first smartphone ever. What? Here it is. So here's my gadget, the handspring visor, circa 2002. Oh yeah. This became Love that, my baby. first smartphone. Yep. It didn't have any built-in phone capabilities, but handspring did a pretty smart thing. On the back side, they had a slot for handspring modules. That's right. This is pretty cool. So what I did was I went out and purchased this little guy. This is a handspring module from Sprint. This is the Sprint PCS Wireless Web Digital Link, which turns a handspring visor into a smartphone. Aha! So a little bit about this device. There's the wow. on-off switch on top. There's a headphone jack in the center and the sound on and off switch over here. On the front side, there's the antenna uh, indicator, the speaker, the battery level indicator, and a couple of application launchers. So when you slide this little guy into the back side of the visor, you can see the Sprint app launches. Wow. Now the battery on the Sprint hand on the Sprint module is dead, so it won't turn on. But uh, as you can see, this would be my list of, of speed dials right here. And uh, this was just a really, really cool thing, way ahead of its time back in 2002. Not quite as sleek as my Galaxy <laughs> S4, which is what I'm use, using to record this. As you can see, a little bulky, didn't fit into the uh, pocket so well, but I was so thrilled to have a smartphone, even though I didn't know it was a smartphone back then. We just uh, called it a PDA with a phone on the <laughs> kind of glued onto the back there. But I was so happy. I thought this was the coolest thing ever. And uh, so anyhow, uh, Dick, I think this would be a great addition to the gadget warehouse. So there's my device. There's my gadget. You guys have a great show. Bye-bye. And I got Thank one. you. That, I got you one, have too. one, too. Yeah. Do they, you have the slot in the back? Uh, I, of course, they all had the handspring module wow. slot. You could do other things. You could add storage and memory, but the phone was the coolest one. They would turn it into a smartphone, and this, your, this is running the Palm OS, and it would take. It worked. What's nice on uh, two uh, AAA batteries, so that's that's pretty cool for a phone, right? Yeah. yeah. Back in two thousand ten years ago. Yeah, they were GPS modules. Somebody's pointing that out. That's right. Um, I thought these were great. I, I loved Palm and I loved Visor. Um, and I wish we had the connector because I'd love to charge it up. I bet, I bet Tom's data is still on here. <laughs> is it Tom Merritt's? Who's is it? Do I don't know? know. Honestly, I didn't know that. Was it Tom. appeared over there at one point. So we, you know, oh. we have a gadget warehouse over here too. It's more no, like that's... a museum than a warehouse, but yeah. Yeah. yeah so the... John Kingston, thank you. Good video. We're gonna send yeah. him something out. We are. Yeah. You know, if you have a video, we're looking for more videos. Uh, send us a video, two to three minutes long. Post it on YouTube. Uh, send the link to gizwiz at twit.tv. You can send it in I Bought a Piece of Crap. Um, I invented this, my gadget warehouse, like John Kingston just did, or my favorite gadget of all time. Two to three minutes, email it to us. Uh, uh, email to us at gizwiz at twit.tv. Jason will look through them and then send them on to me. And you get a piece of crap. Yay! In so your efforts are an invention. Not, it's not enough that you become famous for being on the Gizwiz oh, no. show. Oh, no. I want more. You get crap, too. <laughs> well, Dick and uh, what's his name? James? Uh, J uh, John. J John. Owen. Dick and John, thank you. For that, you know what? It, that inspires me to to perform a little musical number I like to call the Gizwiz Letters theme. Inspired by the Apple event. Different analysts. Oh, yeah. 
had to read the uh, the lyrics here. <laughs> I've never memorized the lyrics, I'm sorry to say. Uh, all right, our letter says, uh, hey, Dick, I had a comment about one of the gadgets you reviewed mm. on the Gizwiz. Mm. I'm talking about the forehead thermometers. I'm a pediatrician. I and my patients would like to measure temperatures in the least uncomfortable way possible. I do not know if your specific thermometers were studied, but forehead crystal thermometers have found to be inaccurate, mm. and I do not recommend them to my patients. Oh, this is good to know. Jason's use of the old-fashioned thermometer under the armpit works well enough. However, ear thermometers and the new temporal scanning thermometers, which swipes across the forehead, are also accurate. I've included links to two examples, but there are many more out there. I'm no Dr. Mom, but if you have any questions in my area of expertise, please feel free to send them my way and I'll try to answer them for you. Thanks again, uh, Ian Winkler. And uh, I will put the two links that Ian recommended for thermometers uh, at gizwiz.biz so you can follow them and see uh, the two thermometers he thinks work well. That's good, though. I'm glad somebody weighed in on that because we don't want people to buy something and trust it if it's not accurate. And, you know, no, it's absolutely. pretty critical if you're measuring kids temperatures that you have something that works so this is one of the it, things he recommends that's one of the things the he yeah yeah, yeah one exactly. second ear thermometer that's these are the these and are the infrared the thermometers i was talking about the instant read and they're great uh, and they seem to be quite accurate and boy at 30 bucks and you can use them over and over again no no yeah. kid minds you just put it up against the ear you don't have to stick it in the ear you just put it up against the ear and uh, you get an instant read you know i think leo that that uh, our research over the years has proven that most people <laughs> for medical advice I hope so do come to the gizmo I hope so because you know we're trained professionals absolutely I hung around it when I was a kid I was in the drugstore for hours every night. <laughs> That's so. where I bought my mad magazines. Yeah exactly yeah. I knew where the cough medicine was <laughs> yeah Dick how fun is this now I'm not going to be here next week I'm going to be on a big old jet airliner Oh yeah, we're 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 heartbroken about that. Oh, I can tell you're just weeping yeah, and I weeping. I wish you a lot of luck going through security with your uh, whatever your thing wearing on your pants. Yeah. Apparently, Liz really loves it. She's yeah, running she's, around, jumping up and down. She's pretty happy. Yeah, you okay. put a Kindle in it. Is that a Kindle in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Apparently, it is wow. a Kindle in her pocket and a phone. Would you would you wear that out yeah. uh, and about? You wouldn't. Yeah. That way I don't get weird tan lines. I can hold everything here. She wouldn't get weird tan lines with it. <laughs> I think you actually might get weird tan lines well, with it. Yeah. <laughs> I may be wrong. I think you're going to get weird people following you. That's <laughs> oh, Dickie D, thank you so much for doing this show. Dick don't comes back on what Saturdays. What the heck is it? New game? Oh, yes. Let's go see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Gizwiz.biz. Click the what the heck is it link, and there they are. The uh, tail lights from my 1948 Chevy Escobar, right? Could be. It could be. Hmm. I think that goes in your closet, and you use it to put your shoes on. Nice. That's a good guess. Yeah. I think it could be used uh, as an emergency teaspoon holder and light. Whew. You're just giving away <laughs> dynamite answers for free. I... <laughs> I want to strap that to my forehead and welcome <laughs> our new overlords to the planet Earth. Another good one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You could just do all 36 entries yourself. Just think of the tan lines you'd get from that. <laughs> Dickie D, go to gizwiz.biz, play the game, win an autographed mag magazine. You got a couple of months. It ends uh, Halloween Eve at midnight Eastern it does, time. It does, it does, it does. And uh, Dick joins us. Of course, we do this show on Tuesday afternoons, but he's also back on Saturday right after the radio show. You'll be a little delayed. I think we're pre-recording some stuff, but we yep, will do the Giz Fizz uh, Saturday okay. afternoon. Oh, we are. We are. You and I so are. So you're going to actually delay yourself. I am going to delay myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't knock it. 
<laughs> I mean, I, you you're know, going to, I, you're going I don't mind being delayed by another uh, by, celebrity. By another huge, huge <laughs> yeah, celebrity. Right. Good. Yeah, so right. we'll see you right after the radio show. That's about uh, 2 o'clock Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday afternoon. And we'll get an extra couple of three giz whizzes in there and a giz fizz and all of that. I'll be here. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you.